$430.28 in negative cash flow to $461.72 in positive cash flow in a single day. Here's how. This client asked me to take a look at her numbers and see what I would do. Here's what I would do. I would cancel Netflix and Spotify. That's the savings of $37 each month. I would stop sending $370 to my savings account until I could get this debt paid off. I would stop sending $51 extra to Best Buy and redirect that $51 to my primary card. I would stop paying $190 extra to Lowe's and I would redirect that to my primary card. I would make the city card my primary card because it has the highest minimum payment and I want to absorb that $135. So the city card becomes my primary card. The Walmart credit card, I would match to bills so I could redirect that $45 in the minimum payment to Walmart. I would redirect it to my primary card. I would match Victoria's Secret credit card to my bills so I can redirect that $40 to my primary card. Now, you'll see that I am not matching Amazon because she's going to have that paid off here in this month. And I'm not matching Best Buy because she's going to have that one paid off. In the future, once she gets the hang of this, the Amazon card and the Best Buy card need to come back into play, be matched to a bill. And the reason why you're going to do that is because when you match it to that bill, you are satisfying that that payment is made, right? You are using your card. She's going to have a zero balance on that Amazon card and that Best Buy card. And the only thing that are going to be going on those two credit cards are the bills that she's going to be paying each month. So it's going to have a zero balance starting. She's going to match it to one of her bills. She's going to pay that bill with that card, pay that card with the cash out of her checking account, and end that month with a zero balance. That is what we're all working towards, keeping our cards in circulation, using our cards, but not for purchases that we can't afford to pay off. We're only going to use those cards to use our match our bills so that what that does is it increases our credit score, which is increasing our limit, which makes us have lower rates on our um, insurance going forward. It makes it easier for us to run apartments. It makes it easier for us to get a mortgage. It makes it easier for us to get car loans. We are going to use our cards strategically. Right now, we're just working to pay off the debt. But in the future, that's the goal, you guys. And so what does that leave her with? It leaves her with only her private label cards. Private label cards are a waste. Stop getting private label cards. Private label cards are your Lowe's, your Home Depot, your JCPenney, your Kohl's. Those are the cards that you can only use at that particular store. And so what happens is you cannot use it with Velocity Banking. So if you start to spend a lot on those and you have a balance on those, there's no strategic way to get out of it. And a lot of times if they offer you a 0% interest on a private label card, it is deferred interest. Okay. And what that means is if you don't have that balance paid off at the end of the promotional period, then all of the interest uh, gets tacked onto the new balance versus your regular 0% APR cards, which are backed by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. Whereas when that, um, you get to the end of that promotional period, if there's still a balance, it just means that the next month you're going to be charged interest on the existing balance, not the retroactive balance. Okay. So this is what it looks like at the end of just moving her numbers around. Now her expenses are $2,592.28. Her variables, I had asked her if she could come up $6 short each week on groceries. She said yes. So that's where I came up with the $1,076 in her variables. Uh, that brings her total to $3,668.28. Her income remains the same at $4,130. She's now cash flow positive. $461.72. And all that we took out of her budget at this point was Netflix and Spotify because she's got a pretty much uh, a bare bones budget as it is. So we just canceled the redundancy because she had the Amazon Prime. A lot of people are watching stuff on YouTube. You don't need Netflix. You don't need the Spotify if you have Amazon Prime. So she is also left with her car payment and her mortgage. She is $461.72 cash flow positive after doing all of this. And when she pays off that Amazon card this month, she will now have $496.78 cash flow positive. I touched a little bit on 
her Best Buy card because it is the 0% APR and her Lowe's is a deferred interest card. And I want to show you again why I'm saying stop sending the extra money to that and put it towards your city card, your primary card. And I'll be going over that in the next video.